let's look at Chief Mate's MC examination for stability, November 2019, question 3. It says, a vessel is floating in dark water of relative density 1.018. The present draft forward is 7.213 meters. Midship port draft is 8.092 meters. Midship starboard is 8.032 meters. Aft draft is 8.474 meters. The draft marks are displaced as follows. Forward 1.54 meters aft of the forward perpendicular. Aft 1.86 meters aft of the aft perpendicular. Midship 0.58 meters aft of midship. The stability data booklet provides the necessary hydrostatic data for the vessel. Using worksheet Q3 and showing any additional calculations in the answer book, determine each of the following. Part A, the vessel's displacement. Part B, the maximum cargo to load for a summer load line zone. Note, assume no hog or sag in the summer load condition. So this is the worksheet which has been given along with the question number three. We will first write down the forward draft, which is 7.213 meters. The next step is to apply the forward perpendicular correction. We apply this correction because the entire hydrostatic data is based on the drafts read at the perpendicular. So in order to apply this correction, we'll use the formula Distance marks are displaced divided by the distance between marks multiplied by the observed trim. So the distance marks are displaced is 1.54 meters, which is given in the question. And the distance between marks is 137.82 meters. And the observed trim, which is the difference between the forward and aft draft is 1.261 meters. In order to understand the distance between marks, we look at the drawing. So this is our drawing. So this is the aft perpendicular, this is the midship, and this is the forward perpendicular. This is the point where forward drafts are read, which is 1.54 meters aft of the forward perpendicular. This is the point where midship drafts are read, which is 0 0.58 meters aft of the midship and this is where the aft drafts are read, which is 1.86 meters aft of the aft perpendicular. In order to calculate distance between marks, we'll first write down the distance between perpendiculars. And this value of 137.5 meters has been obtained from the hydrostatic data. So the distance between perpendicular, which is forward and aft perpendicular, is 137.5. We need the distance from here till this point. In order to get this distance, we'll first subtract the distance of 1.54 meters from the LBP. So when we subtract 1.54 meters from the LBP, the resulting distance remaining is from the aft perpendicular to this. Now, all we need to do is add this distance in order to get the distance between the draft marks. So we have added 1.86 meters in the end to get the distance between the draft mark, which was 137.82 meters. This is the same distance which we will be using for calculation of the forward perpendicular and the aft perpendicular trim correction. When we apply this correction, we get a numerical value of 0 0.014 meters. We will subtract this distance from the draft forward. This is because of the reason that this is the point where the drafts are being read, but the entire hydrostatic is based on the drafts read at perpendicular. If you look at this point where the drafts are being read, and if you look at the point at the forward perpendicular where the waterline lies, 
the draft at the forward perpendicular will be much lesser as compared to the drafts read at the draft marks because the vessel is trimmed by stern. Due to this reason, we'll subtract the correction. If the draft would have been forward of the forward perpendicular, then this correction would have been added because of the fact that the drafts read at the draft marks would be lesser than the drafts read at forward perpendicular. So the final answer for draft at po forward perpendicular is 7.199 meters. The draft aft is 8.474 meters, which is given in the question. And the aft perpendicular correction, we again use the same formula, which is distance marks are displaced divided by the distance between marks multiplied by the observed trim. So the distance marks are displaced is 1.86 meters divided by 137.82 meters, which is the distance between the marks, multiplied by the observed trim, which is again the difference between forward and aft draft. We get a numerical value of 0 0.017 meters. Now this value has to be subtracted again. To understand this, we'll again look at our drawing. So this is where our drafts were read. And this is where our drafts were supposed to be read. If you look at this point where the drafts were being read, this draft would give us a higher value as compared to the draft which was supposed to be read at a perpendicular because the vessel is trimmed by stern. Due to this reason, we subtract the trim correction. If the draft marks would have been forward of the aft perpendicular, then this correction would have been added because it would be evident that the draft read at the draft marks would be lower as compared to the draft which would be read at the aft perpendicular. So this value is subtracted. We get the draft at the aft perpendicular which is 8.457 meters. We'll now calculate true trim. So true trim is the difference between the corrected forward perpendicular draft and corrected aft perpendicular draft. So which is 1.258 meters. We will next write down the draft midship in the port side, which is 8.092 meters, which was given in the question. The starboard draft, which is 8.032 meters, which was again given in the question. We'll mean the these two drafts to get the value as 8.062 meters. So mean is done basically by adding these two values and then dividing it by two. We'll then apply the midship line correction, which is the draft marks are displaced divided by the LBP multiplied by the true trim. So the distance marks are displaced is 0 0.58 meters, which is given in the question. LBP is 137.5 meters, which is given in the hydrostatic data, multiplied by the true trim, which is 1.258 meters, which we had obtained here. And we got a numerical value of 0 0.005 meters. Now this sign would be again minus because of the following reason. If we look at this drawing, the drafts were being read at the draft marks, but the draft is supposed to be read at the midship. So drafts which are being read at the draft marks here uh, would be greater in numerical value as compared to the drafts read at midship. So in order to get the corrected midship draft, we need to subtract that correction. If the draft marks would have been forward of the midship, then this correction would have been added because the draft mark reading would have been much lower as compared to the draft where we need to get the value at the midship would have been higher. So this midship correction is subtracted. We get our draft at midship as 8.057 meters. We will then apply the corrected midship draft which is draft of forward perpendicular plus six of draft midship plus the draft aft divided by the eight. So this is done to take into consideration any hogging or sagging 
uh, of the vessel. When we solve this, we got a numerical answer of 8 meters. So 7.199 was the value which was obtained here. 8.057 is the value which comes from here. And 8.457 is the value which comes here. Now at this draft of 8.000 meters, we'll obtain certain values. So we'll obtain TPC. Now everything what we obtain needs to be obtained for salt water, even though the vessel is in dark water, the density correction will be applied at the later stage. So the TPC which was obtained at 8 meters draft, which is the corrected midship draft was 23.780 and LCF was 66.330 meters. At the draft of 8 meters, we got the displacement as 16922 tons. Again, this displacement has been obtained for salt water. Everything what we obtain from the hydrostatic will be for salt water and the density correction would be applied at the very end. We'll then apply the first trim correction. So the first trim correction formula is distance of center of flotation from midship multiplied by the trim multiplied by the TPC divided by the LBP. Now thing to remember is that trim is in centimeters which is this value. Now this correction can be added or subtracted depending upon the situation. If we look at our diagram again, the midship draft is being read somewhere here and the LCF lies behind this. So the draft at the point of center of flotation would be much more as compared to the draft read at the midship. As we know that the entire hydrostatics are supposed to be entered with either true mean draft or the displacement. So we need to obtain the true mean draft and true mean draft is the draft at point of center of flotation. So in this particular case, since center of flotation is behind the midship draft, we will add this correction. If center of flotation would have been forward of the midship, then we would have subtracted the correction because the draft at LCF would be less as compared to the draft at midship. When we put in this numerical value, so distance of center of flotation from the midship is 2.42 meters. The trim in centimeters is 125.8. The TPC is 23.78 divided by LBP, which is 137.5. We get 52.7 and it is supposed to be added. The second trim correction is always added and this is always to be applied if the vessel is not provided with the trimmed hydrostatic data. If you are using the trimmed hydrostatic data then there is no need for applying the second trim correction. If you are not using the trimmed hydrostatic data then you need to apply this correction. This is because of the fact that when the vessel is trimmed if you look at this diagram here, the water plane area of the vessel changes. So this would be the water plane area when the vessel is trimmed and this would have been a, the water plane area if vessel is at even keel. Now there is a change in water plane area which will result in the movement of center of flotation because center of flotation is the geometric center of the water plane area. Now since the water plane area has increased, the F needs to move. To take this thing into consideration, the second trim correction is applied. This value is always added. Now the formula is 50 times the true trim square multiplied by MCTC2 minus MCTC1. So MCTC2 is the MCTC value at the draft, which is 0.5 meters plus 8 meters. And MCTC1 
is the draft which is mctc1 is read at those drafts which is 8 meters minus 0 0.5 meters so we got the value as 50 times 1.258 square multiplied by 206.4 minus 192.4 divided by 137.5 this value is in meters so we get a value of 8.1 tons so when we look at the corrected displacement we will sum up all these values so we got the final answer as 16982.8 tons now at the very end we'll apply the dock water displacement so the, that is the correction for the relative density so the formula is displacement multiplied by the relative density dock water divided by 1.025 so it is 16982.8 which comes from here multiplied by 1.018 which is the density in which the vessel is floating given in the cushion divided by 1.025. So the answer what we get is 16866.8 tons. So that is the displacement of the vessel in dock water. Now in order to calculate part B of the cushion which asks us to cargo to load to bring the ship to her summer drafts, we'll first see how much is the summer displacement of the vessel? So the summer load displacement is 19,006 tons, which has been obtained from the ship particulars. The present displacement is 16,866.8 tons, which has been obtained from this part. So the cargo to load is 2139.2 tons. So this has been obtained by subtracting this number from this number.